Welcome to Stream Time, where we talk all things streaming. What's on? What's coming up? And what you should avoid. We'll also explore ways to save you money on your streaming services as well. So kick back and relax as we get ready for Stream Time. Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Stream Time, the show all about streaming. And we're glad you're with us today. And hey, if you like the program, streamtimeshow.com. And you can go to purplepitstudios.com as well to listen to more episodes. On this episode of Stream Time, we're going to talk about the state of streaming. Coming up. Thank you for listening to Stream Time. Now let's get back to the show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome to Stream Time. And again, we appreciate each and every one of you listeners out there taking time out of your day to listen to us. And we're the show all about streaming. So we're going to get into it right now on Stream Time. As we talked about in the open, we're going to talk about on this episode of Stream Time, we're going to talk about the state of streaming. Now, it's a new year, and there's always big changes uh, with with things in the new year, and especially with streaming services. Uh, In this big corporate world that we happen to be living on, you know, there's takeovers, there's uh, mergers and acquisitions and such. Sometimes it benefits us uh, as the consumer, and sometimes it does not. One of the trends I've been noticing lately um, when these big changes seem to happen is the first thing that happens is a price increase. And we have seen that across the board on many services, such as Disney+. Plus. ESPN Plus has raised their prices. Fubio TV, who is a uh, a streaming TV provider, they've raised their prices as well, and many many more have you know have that had they have that uh, implemented that incremental price hike. Now, there's also been some changes. Discovery Plus is kind of you know broken away. And they're doing their own thing. But let's just get into some streaming news right now. Uh, DirecTV Stream is planning to expand its fast channel offering. Um, Some other news, big news for you sports fans out there. Bally Sports is heading to bankruptcy. Uh, So could Major League Baseball games possibly return to free broadcast channels? I don't know. It remains to be seen. There's big money in streaming sports. Uh, And speaking of money in streaming sports, Fubio TV uh, has increased their price. Now, f- for those of you who don't know what Fubio TV is, F-U-B-O, uh, it's a streaming provider meant to replace most cable-type services out there. And they were already up there pretty high. Now they're up to $74.99 a month to start. At one point, they were $64.99. Then they went to 69 But here's the sneaky thing about Fubio TV. While they have a great interface and they've got some great features... Um, not going to deny that Fubio TV has a nice feature where you can put up to four boxes on your screen. Okay. At one time and watch four different channels at once. Yeah. It's great. If you're watching, let's say a football game and then a baseball game and you know, a tennis match. And then you want to, you know, watch, I don't know, the weather channel or something, you know, something like that. You can do that and then go into each one of those channels and enlarge it on your screen. That's kind of a cool feature something you don't really see on streaming services. I remember many, many years ago, back in the 1990s, uh, that was a feature offered on some televisions back in the day. Sony was a big one that offered that, Sony TV, when they were back making large screen televisions. Remember when televisions had tubes and they weighed about 80 to 120 pounds? Yeah, back in that day. Now, 
Uh, so Fubio TV uh, has a pretty steep. Uh, they've they've done some pretty steep price hikes lately, uh, and they've eliminated a couple channels. Now the sneaky thing though about Fubio TV is not only are you paying, you know, about getting about ninety channels for seventy four ninety nine a month, uh, but you do get your local channels in most areas thirty five and cable channels. But there's a regional sports networks in some parts of the country. But you do pay uh, extra for that. On top of the seventy four ninety nine a month, so at that point, you know, from my point of view, it doesn't make it really a viable cable alternative because you're basically within five to seven dollars of what you would pay for cable, honestly. So Fubio TV, I mean, while they have, like I said, some great features, you can stream it anywhere. You got unlimited DVR. Uh, the nice thing about their unlimited DVR is you can tell it to record new programs only, as opposed to say something like the um, YouTube TV that records everything under the sun and you just get a conglomerate of thousands of recordings, you know, in your in your DVR library. I'll tell you what, if YouTube TV could have a feature where you could record new episodes only, that would make it my number one streaming service for you to go to uh, as far as replacing your TV and such. Um, YouTube TV, if you're listening to stream time, just make your DVR, do an update to it where you can record new episodes only. And then you'd you'd be the top dog, okay? Now, some other things happening. Uh, let's see here in the streaming world. Direct TV stream has uh, had a mild price increase, and it uh, looks like they've dropped Newsmax. There's a big controversy going on that right now. Um, they've added a couple other inconsequential networks. All right, let's see. There's a report out that says Americans streamed 19 million years that's 19 million years worth of content in the year 2022. And what was the number one show that Americans were streaming last year? Stranger Things. Yeah, stra and that is a good show. I've seen that. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to talk about that at a later point uh, in here on a future episode of Stream Time. Uh, some cool shows coming up, though, on some streaming services that you may subscribe to. Wolfpack series premiere on Apple TV, Fire TV, and Roku. And let's see, Teen Wolf, the movie on Apple TV. There's a series uh, on, uh, it's called Poker Face. It's available on the Peacock streaming network for Peacock TV if you have that. What else? We have Killing County. Uh, that's a series premiere on Apple TV. You can watch that. What else do we got? Uh, now that's, a, that's kind of about it. Let's see what else we got. Coming to Hulu in February of this year, uh, Bruiser. Stolen Youth, Inside the Cult at Sarah Lawrence. Uh, so we got that coming up, some streaming exclusives. And a lot of streaming service providers are now really delving deep into exclusive content, making you want to sign up for them. So just to give you a great, you know, a great idea of, you know, the commitment made by these streaming companies. And I guess then that would be their justification for uh, price hikes. So, you know, that, I guess, would uh, be their, their reasoning for raising the prices. But here's the thing. If you're not careful, folks, if you're not careful and you subscribe to this service and that service and this service and that service and maybe a streaming TV service because you think you're going to cut the cord, you better be mindful and, and write down and figure out exactly what you're paying for a month because a lot of times you could end up paying double of what you were paying or – you know, at least close to what you're paying for cable. Now, again, the argument can be made. There's a lot more flexibility by subscribing to various cable uh, TV type streaming services or channels, more flexibility, uh, usually in most cases, le less taxation. And with independent streaming providers, such as like HBO, Max, uh, Peacock Network, Paramount Plus, etc., you can go month to month. But the best deals are actually if you go yearly because you end up saving a considerable amount of money. But if there's not enough content there to warrant you staying for the full year, then you're just, you know, to save a few dollars, you're, you're paying extra for content you may not be using or utilizing. So it, it's a slippery slope in the streaming world on how you choose to spend your dollar. Um, again, we talked about some of the Streaming services that have raised prices. We've talked about some of the content coming up. 
and all that. So just be careful out there, okay? As the new year here continues along early in the new year, be mindful of what you're spending your streaming dollars on. Really think about the content you're going to watch. Sometimes it's better to wait for all streaming episodes of a certain series that you love to drop on that streaming service and then subscribe to it for the month and do a binge that month of programming. But you will decide what is best for you. Well, we certainly hope you enjoyed listening to Stream Time. And until the next episode, my friends, I'll hang on to the remote and do the surfing for you. Thank you for listening to Stream Time. If you enjoy Stream Time, won't you please leave us a positive rating and review on your favorite podcast provider? And remember, for more episodes of Stream Time, you can go to purplepitstudios.com and search for Stream Time. That address again is purplepitstudios.com. Until next time, thank you for listening to Stream Time.